let's talk about Kyle. We were really on him all year for not having an offensive identity, for really underperforming with this offense. And we figured, man, if you're going to figure it out, now's the time. This is week 11. It's almost Thanksgiving. Figure out your offense, Kyle. He did. And I want to say, I, I think I deserve a little credit. You could go back, but me and Jose were talking on, what was it Wednesday, about what the offense needs to do. And I said, they need to pass more. This is a team who's, uh, that's personnel on offense is geared towards passing. You got all these receivers. Your running back is a better receiver than running back. Every eligible receiver in the pattern is good. Pass the ball. Plus, Jimmy Garoppolo is playing the best football of his career. Pass the ball. This week, Steve Young went on the radio and said that the reason they're not passing the ball that much is because Kyle doesn't trust Jimmy Garoppolo. It's Jimmy's fault. I love Steve Young. But, dude, have you been watching Jimmy recently? That is no longer an excuse. I'm not saying Jimmy's elite. But Kyle started taking the ball out of Jimmy's hands because he was an interception machine. He had that five-pick day in practice. He had that awful playoff game against the Vikings, and then they took the ball out of his hands. Now, he's not that guy anymore. He's got check down options. He's got guys. I mean, he's got playmakers all over the field. He can't miss right now. And Kyle Shanahan's been trying to run between the tackles and like be something they're not. Talked about it all last week. Embrace what you are. Stop trying to be something you want to be and just embrace who you are as a team. He finally did that today. 21 passes, seven runs in the first half. The Cardinals never saw that coming. They thought the Niners would keep doing what they've been doing for years, which is run to set up the pass as opposed to pass to set up the run. Walsh passed to set up the run. That's what the Niners did today. And so I like the way they used their offense. No Elijah Mitchell in the first half. That was strange to me. But as soon as they got a lead second half, it was Elijah Mitchell time. So I think what Kyle Shanahan sees is Mitchell isn't going to start, but he's going to close. He's the closer. When you got a lead and you need to put it away, it ain't McCaffrey. It's Mitchell who puts it away. McCaffrey helps you build the lead. And McCaffrey, I think, really has made Jimmy Garoppolo a better quarterback. I mean, I don't know that you've necessarily seen McCaffrey go crazy or the offense go crazy because of him. But now Jimmy has this check down guy he can consistently throw to. He doesn't throw the ball away very much. He doesn't scramble that well. But now it seems like he always has a good option. There's always someone open. And if it's not Ayuk or Kittle or Debo on the field, there's McCaffrey right there. So I'm not saying it's a top five offense in the league or they're going to do this every week. But at least they know who they are now. At least they have a, a, a formula to repeat for success. Because this offense hasn't done anything like this this year. I mean, they did play well against Carolina, but that doesn't count. This is their identity. They have to trust Jimmy Garoppolo this year. Isn't that funny? Kind of ironic. They benched him, cut his salary, told him, we don't like you. We're going to go with Trey Lance and run the hell out of the ball this year. Lance gets hurt running the ball. And now by Thanksgiving, they're like, you know what? We're going to run our offense through Jimmy Garoppolo because he's playing well and we're going to be a pass first team. Things happen. Stuff happens in, in football and you got to go with it in, in life. Powerful one says, Rotate Gibson and Ward at free safety like they do CMC Mitchell at running back and Brunskill Burford at right guard and make Womack the starting nickelback he needs to play. I agree. I, I feel bad for Jimmy um, because it's clear he's not going to be back next year and they're kind of screwing him. But Womack should be playing. Um, all three of them are pretty good. Gibson made a play today. He, he broke up a pass. Luis says Jimmy playing his best ball first and last season with the team. Maybe Shanahan always been handcuffing him. I think he probably feels that way. Jimmy, perhaps. Um, Irfan says off topic, but happy SF didn't draft Zach Wilson. Yeah, he was a mirage, which is too bad because um, Salah's really built a nice team in, in New York. And they need a new quarterback. <laughs>